Hi, this is Parul. Today I want to share with you a very special yoga video, Yoga for Complete Beginner. If you have never practiced yoga, you are very apprehensive about whether you will be able to practice yoga or not, this is a great video to kickstart your yoga journey. Most important thing is listen to your body, be patient with your body, keep practicing, read throughout the practice and don't judge yourself at any point. Enjoy your practice, be consistent with your practice. On that note, let's start our practice for today. Let's start this practice sitting in cross-legged position. I am sitting. However, if this is not comfortable for you, you can also take one leg out to make yourself comfortable. If your lower back is stressed today or if you have tight hips, you can also elevate and sit on the block, okay, or on the cushion, okay. So, find a comfortable position to sit before you start this practice. Once you are comfortable, make sure your spine is long. Your hands are gently relaxed on your knees, your shoulders are relaxed and let's close our eyes for a few seconds. So close your eyes and let's center ourselves. It simply means just forget about everything else and focus on yourself. Focus on how you're feeling today. So throughout the practice, make sure you do what your body is most comfortable with today without any judgment. Focus on your breathing. First few seconds, just breathe naturally without controlling the rhythm of your breath. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Very gentle. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now slowly let's make our breath deeper. Deep breath will help you relax. Prepare you for your practice. So take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your nose exhale longer so exhale longer than your inhalation let's try this again breathe in through your nose take a deep breath in and breathe out through your nose lengthen your exhalation continue like this breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out and one more like this take a deep breath in and breathe out lengthen your exhalation take a pause here Take a moment to observe yourself. Observe yourself after this short breathing practice. How are you feeling? And then on your next exhalation, let's open our eyes gently. Okay, let's start with some warm up now. So you're going to take your arms by the side of your body. And take your arms up slowly, breathe in. Yes, just lengthen your spine. Spine is long. And breathe out, arms down. We continue like this two more times. Take your arms up, breathe in. So this practice will help you release the compression from your spine, lower back. And breathe out, arms down. Let's do one more of this. Take your arms up, breathe in. And this time when you go up, interlace your fingers and push your palms up. Let's go for a slightly deeper stretch. This time keep breathing. And then you breathe out, lean to your right. Breathe in back to the center. Breathe out, lean to your left. Breathe in, back to the center, breathe out to release. Now rest your hands back behind your hips, 
you can be on your fingertips or you can rest your palms down like this okay or you you are on your fingertips okay both the options are fine whatever you're comfortable with you're going to take your shoulder blades in and take your head back breathe yes lift your heart keep breathing and if you feel like making this stretch deeper and you're comfortable you plant your palms down if you were on your fingertips make your fingers wide open press into your palms and lift your hips up push your hips forward so this is just an option if you want to go deeper you are comfortable today do this and make sure you're breathing it's a really good stretch for your arms your lower back your shoulders for five four three two one slowly get your hips back if you were lifting it up okay come out of the pose we are going to do counter pose of this now so you're going to stretch your arms and breathe in make your spine long and breathe out to go forward yes resting your palms down on the mat stretching your arms forward taking your weight back towards your hips let your shoulders relax let your neck relax and breathe and if you can rest your elbows down you can do that if not you can just stretch your arms so do what you're most comfortable with and keep breathing so this is a good pose for releasing the compression from your lower back from your spine from your hips staying here for 5 4 3 2 1 now you take both the arms to the right side stretching our sides shoulders are relaxed neck is relaxed you are breathing and then come back to the center go on your left side taking both the arms diagonally to the left and then you come back to the center and take your arms in take your arms up breathe in lengthen your spine and breathe out gently twisting to your right so you're going to rest your left hand on the right knee right hand back draw your right shoulder back lift your heart breathe in breathe out keep twisting to the right keep breathing so don't lean too heavy on your right hand you're very gently resting your right hand back behind your right hip and come back to the center take your arms up breathe in lengthen your spine and breathe out twist to your left right hand on the left knee left hand back behind your left hip draw your left shoulder back keep sitting long lifting your heart breathe in breathe out and then you gently come back to the center okay from here rest your right elbow down and left hand over your ear yes so we are stretching our sides because in our day to day movement we are never doing any movement from the side so we are going forward or backward right so the sides get tight it can lead to low back stress so very important to release your sides keep breathing and then you press into your right palm come back to the center go on your left side left elbow down right hand over your ear right palm facing down continue to breathe and try to ground your right hip back on the mat if it's coming off the mat pressing into your left palm come back to the center okay from here we're going to go in shoulder stretch so you're going to take your right arm out extend your right arm take your right arm to the left rest your right elbow inside your left arm hug your right arm in yes this is for your shoulder stretch and look to your right and breathe keep hugging your right arm in stay here for 5 4 3 2 
one slowly release and then you extend your left arm out take your left arm to the right same thing hug your left arm in with your right arm and get your left arm closer to your body look to your left breathe staying here for five four three two one and you slowly release okay now take your arms at the shoulder level like this yes take your arms back lift your heart take your head back chin away from your chest breathe in grounding your hips so this is a really good pose for opening your heart your chest stretching your neck stay here for five four three two one come back to the center we do the counter pose of this so interlace your fingers put it at the top of your neck and then you gently take your chin to the chest elbows in very gently stretching the back of your neck continue to breathe staying here for a few seconds for five four three two one slowly get your head back to neutral position release your hands now we're going to stretch the sides of our neck so you're going to take your left hand take it to the right side of your head gently lean to the left and stretching the right side of your neck very gentle don't pull it too hard and breathe for five four three two one back to the center release your left hand take your right hand take it to the left side lean your head to the right and breathe stay here for a few seconds for five four three two one and slowly release your right hand okay now take your shoulders back yes and take your shoulders close to your ears breathe in and breathe out drop your shoulders down this will help you release the tension from your shoulders let's do this again take your shoulders close to your ears breathe in and breathe out drop a few more breathe in take your shoulders close to your ears and breathe out to drop it down with a long sigh let's do one more of this take your shoulders close to your ears breathe in and breathe out with the long sigh very good and you want to take your hands gently on your shoulders and take your elbows back yes station for your shoulders yes take your arms back one two three four five and change five four three two one and slowly release so you should feel your upper body slightly lighter now let's go to our lower body now so you're going to extend your right leg and your left leg is bent now sit long we're going for stretching our hamstring now so take your arms and breathe in lengthen your spine and breathe out to go forward yeah now when you are doing this maybe your hands are touching the toes maybe they are not don't worry about it rest your hand wherever it reaches comfortably i'm going to show you the side view yeah here yes so if your hands are not touching the toes like i mentioned don't worry rest your hand wherever it reaches rest your abdomen very gently on your right thigh let your shoulders be relaxed neck long keep breathing stay here for a few seconds for five four three two one and then you're going to slowly take your arms up breathe in and breathe out arms down okay now you want to take your left leg over right leg like this you're going to take your right arm up breathe in and hug your left leg in with your right arm gently twisting to your left drawing your left shoulder back resting your left hand very gently behind your left hip you're releasing your hip keep breathing 
for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're going to slowly release, come back to the center and change. Left leg straight, right leg bend. Same thing. Take your arms up, breathe in. Head to knee pose, Janu Sirsasana. Take your arms up, breathe in, lengthen your spine. And breathe out to go forward, reaching for your toes. Rest your hand wherever it reaches, okay? Don't judge yourself if your hands are not touching the toes. That's completely fine. And keep breathing. Stay here for a few seconds. For five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release. Take your arms up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Arms down. Okay. Now you're going to take your right leg over left leg. And you're going to take your left arm up, breathe in. And hug your right leg in with your left arm, gently twisting to your right, drawing your right shoulder back, keep breathing, sitting long. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. And you're going to slowly release and come back to the center. Now we're going to get into butterfly stretch. Okay, Badrikonasana. Joining your feet together and resting your hands at the top of your toes and dropping your knees down. So don't judge yourself if your knees are not getting closer to the mat because everybody is different. Maybe your legs are coming up. That's perfectly fine. So just enjoy the pose and observe where are you feeling the stretch. Okay, and make yourself comfortable and breathe. Keep sitting long and then gently swing your knees up and down. Breathe. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now breathe in, lengthen your spine and breathe out, gently go forward. Go as far as your body allows you today. Resting your elbows gently on your thighs and breathe and keep looking forward. Don't stress your neck by looking down. Looking forward, neck long, breathe. Staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. You're going to slowly come up, breathe in and breathe out, release. Okay. From here, let's go on all four. Okay. Which simply means resting your wrist under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Your wrist shoulder width apart, your knees are hip width apart. We're going to do cat and cow. So cat and cow is really energizing, excellent for your lower back and spine. So let's do this. You're going to drop your belly down, lift your gaze up, shoulders are relaxed. So shoulders don't go close to your ears and you're going to breathe in. This is cow and you're going to breathe out, round your spine, chin to the chest, looking towards your belly button. This is cat, cat and cow. Breathe in to go in cow, drop your belly, chin away from your chest, shoulders relaxed. And breathe out, round your spine, looking towards your belly button, chin to the chest. One more of this, breathe in, drop your belly, lift your gaze up, breathe in, chin away from your chest. And breathe out, chin to the chest, rounding your spine, looking towards your belly button. And then you come to neutral position, flat back. From here, we're going to try some coordination and balance and warming up your core. So, you're going to take your right arm out and left leg out. At any point you are not comfortable, you can rest your left foot down and see if you can go back again. Now, continue to breathe. Keep looking at one point that's stable. 
and don't sink in your left palm. Take your weight away from your mat. Keep breathing for five, four, three, two, one. You're going to change it. Right arm in, left leg in. Change it to the other side. Left arm out, right leg out. Yes. And breathe. So initially this might be a little challenging to find your balance but gradually you will get comfortable in this so keep working on it even if you're falling out of the pose keep coming back in the pose keep trying keep breathing for five four three two one left hand in right leg in let's take a break with child pose so hips towards your heels stretch your arms forward rest your Forehead on the mat if it reaches comfortably. If it is not, that's fine. Keep breathing. Stretching your arms forward, taking your hips towards your heels. So it's a very relaxing and calming pose. Also a great pose for stretching your lower back, your ankle, your cords, your hips. And breathe. Staying here for five, four, three, two, one. You're going to slowly come out of the pose. So take your palms in and come on all four. From here, let's get into plank. So plank is a pose for strength. And if you've never tried plank, don't worry. I will guide you through it. So you're going to take your right leg back, tuck your toes. Left leg back, tuck your toes. At any point you feel tired, you can rest your knees down. Okay, let's try this. Make sure your wrists under your shoulders. Your fingers are wide open. You're not putting all the weight forward on your wrist. Take your weight back. Sending your heels back. Pressing into the top of your feet. And you're breathing. Yes. At any point, you feel tired. Rest your knees down. Come back. If this is your first plank, don't worry. Just try staying here only for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and knees down. Relax. Yes. So really good for strengthening your core, your arms, and excellent for strengthening your whole body. From here, you're going to step your right leg forward. Yes. And make sure when you get your right leg forward, your right knee on top of right ankle and you're pushing your left leg back so don't be directly on your left knee you will hurt your knee and you will not get enough stre uh, stretch push your left leg back and just come on your fingertips shoulders are relaxed chest open really good for stretching your hip flexor and breathe yes so just stay here for a few seconds so this is our foundation, our base position. So first get comfortable here and make sure you're breathing. If you're feeling stable and comfortable, then you see if you can come up. However, if you are not, you can rest your fingers down. That's completely fine. Keep working on it every time you're trying this video. See if you can progress here, but don't be too impatient. Keep breathing. Stay here for a few seconds for five, four, three, two, one. And you're going to rest your fingers down. And from here, you're going to straighten your right leg and bend it. Straighten your right leg and bend. Straighten and bend. So this is a good practice for building flexibility in your hamstring. And bend and straighten. One more time, bend and straighten, then you hold it here. Your right leg is straightened, but if it is not completely straightened today, don't worry, okay? If your hamstrings are too tight, then this might not be completely straightened. Be patient, keep working on it. Curl your toes in for your right foot, your left hip over left knee. Your chest is guiding you forward, so don't round your spine and look down, okay? Look forward. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one rest your right foot down plant your left palm down here and open your body to the right take your right arm up looking towards your right arm breathe so your left knee either resting on the mat or if you want to try to lift it tuck your left toes lift your left knee so it's just an option if you are comfortable doing this keep trying keep breathing for five four three two one and rest it down yes and we are going to change it now so right leg comes in and left leg goes forward push your right leg back relax your back foot left knee on top of left ankle find a comfortable position here first you're on your fingertips your shoulders are relaxed your chest is open you are breathing and if you feel comfortable then come up like i mentioned at any point you want to go resting your fingers down do that and keep trying coming in this position as you keep progressing in your practice breathe staying here for a few seconds and if you feel your right knee is getting stress or left knee when you were doing it on the other side you can put a towel below your knee as well okay or anything uh, below your knee to pad it okay staying here for 5 Four, three, two, one. Fingers down, and you straighten your left leg, and bend. Same thing on the other side. Straighten, and bend, and straighten, and bend, and straighten, and bend. One more time. Straighten, and bend, and then you straighten it. and hold it here half split on the left side curl your toes in for your left foot your right hip over right knee your chest is guiding you forward you're breathing staying here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 rest your left foot down plant your right palm on the mat take your left thumb up looking towards your left hand breathe and you can rest your right knee down or you can release it you can choose whatever you are most comfortable with breathe staying here for 5 4 3 2 1 and left hand back right knee back come on all four okay and from here we're going to go in downward dog so downward dog is a very basic fundamental pose in any yoga practice helps you to stretch your upper and your lower body okay so let's do this together fingers wide open your wrist under your shoulders you're going to press equally in both the palms you're going to tuck your toes knees up hips up push your hips back now when you reach here Don't worry if your heels are not touching the mat today. That's perfectly fine. We keep working towards it. Pushing the torso towards your thighs, your biceps closer to your ears, and you're breathing. Now, if you want to bend your legs, that's also fine. Keep breathing for five, four, three, two. one and then you're going to walk your feet towards your hands slowly yes take your time so this is really good for your spine flexibility for your hamstring and when you're here don't worry if your hands are not touching the mat today that's okay let your shoulders and neck relax let your head hang heavy and you're breathing soften your knees don't lock your knees okay? and you can hold your alternate elbows and you breathe gently swing side to side so this is a good pose for coming relaxing your nervous system for releasing your hamstring stay here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and you're going to slowly release your hands 
and come halfway up, resting your hands on your shin. Maintaining a flat back, neck in line with your spine, breathe in and breathe out, fold forward. So we do this in a flow, breathe in to come halfway up and breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in to come halfway up. And breathe out, fold forward. One more time, breathe in to come halfway up. Flat back. And breathe out to fold forward. Stay here for a few seconds. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and then you slowly come up inch by inch don't rush to come up and stress your lower back very slowly come up yes okay and once you're here we're going to try a pose for balance so you're going to balance on your left leg tree pose and take your right leg up like this yes and if you are not comfortable resting your right foot on your left inner thigh, you can just hover it over your mat like this. So both the options are okay. Avoid keeping it on your knee. And once you're here, just stand tall. Look for any point that's stable and breathe. And when you feel comfortable, take your hands at the heart center and breathe only for five. Four, three, two, one. And it's pretty normal to feel a little wobbly when you're in balanced poses. So don't worry. Keep coming back in the pose. Okay. Release. And take your left leg up. Your right leg is down. Helping you to balance. And take your hands at the heart center. Keep breathing. For five, four, three, two, one. And slowly release, legs back on the mat. Now open your legs wide, toes pointing forward. You're going to rest your hands on your waist. You're going to breathe in, move with your hips back. Get your chest forward. Don't lock your knees. And let your shoulders be relaxed. And get your arms forward by the side of your knees. Breathe. And breathe out. Hands down. You can be on your fingertips. Let your head hang heavy and you're breathing. And then either your left palm rest on the mat or your fingertips on the mat, left fingertips. And you're going to open your body to the right. So you're going to take your right arm up, looking towards your right hand. And you can soft bend your leg forward. Don't worry, keep breathing. And right hand back. And rest your right palm down and open your body to the left, taking your left thumb up, breathe in. And then you rest your left hand back on the mat. Now take your hands back on your waist. And breathe in to come up. Breathe out to release. Okay, now you go on your tummy and prone position like this. Yes, resting your tummy on the mat and come on your forearms. Going in baby cobra pose, okay. So your elbows are in line with your shoulders, okay. And get your shoulders to relax, okay. Don't take your shoulders close to your ears. Chest is open, keep breathing. Stay here for a few seconds, yes. And you can make some adjustment with your legs. You can widen it, you can widen it if you are not comfortable in your lower back. That's fine. And breathe. For five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come down, rest your chest down, take your arms back, and lift your chest up. Lotus pose, Shilabhasana, and release your thighs off the mat and keep breathing. This is really good for strengthening your lower back. I'm going to stay here only for five, four, Three, two, one, and rest your legs back. Take your palms underneath your shoulders, press into your palms, and come up. And then you gently 
sit down, resting your hips back on the mat, extend your legs, coming in the dasana. From here, take your arms up, breathe in. We are going to do seated forward fold. Lengthen your spine and breathe out, get your arms forward. Resting your hands wherever it reaches comfortably. Shoulders relax, neck relax, curl your toes in. Really good for your hamstring, for your spine flexibility. Keep breathing. For five, four, three, two, one. And then you slowly take your arms and breathe in. And breathe out, arms down. Okay, one more pose in sitting, then we will lie down. So, legs are bent like this, resting your palms by the side of your hips. Press into your palms and see if you can lift your legs up. Yes, maybe you want to hold your legs today like this. Yes, chest is open, toes pointing up, breathe. If you're more comfortable resting your palms down, that's also fine. And keep breathing. Only for 10. 9, 8, so you will feel some tightness building here, which is good at strengthening your core. Okay, stay here for 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And rest your feet down. And then you're going to lie down on your low back. Resting your body down, legs are bent. We are going to do bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana. So legs bent, hands by the side of your body, palms facing down. You want to press into your palms and lift your hips up, your lower back, middle back, upper back, your chest to the chin and chin to the sky or the ceiling. And breathe. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Now rest your upper back, middle back, lower back, down. And then let's get into some cool down poses. So just hug your knees, swinging side to side, massaging your lower back. Stay here for a few seconds. Yes, you can also make circles with your knees. So you can go from right to left for a few seconds. So five, four, three, two. One and change to the side. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you rest your feet down. We're going to go in spinal twist. So get your arms like this cactus arm. Get your heels closer to the hips. And you're going to lift your legs and go to your left side, taking your head to the right side. And And come back to the center, lift your legs, take your legs to the right and looking in the left side, continue to breathe and come back to the center, hands by the side of your body, extend your legs and this is our last pose for the practice, Shavasana Cops pose, so don't Skip this part, it's very important to relax as well after all the physical practice we did. This is your time to relax, focusing on your breath and let your body completely relax on the mat and just breathe. Don't think about anything you want to do after this practice or any thought that's distracting you. Just keep it at the back of your mind, continue to breathe. Ready to end the practice. Wiggle your toes, your fingers gently. Take your arms up by the side of your ears. Interlace your fingers. Give yourself a nice stretch, releasing any last tension from your body. And slowly release. Hands by the side of your body. Turn to the side of your mat. Resting your head on your arm. And gently with the help of your hands, slowly come up. 
sitting in easy pose, Sukhasana. Yes. And then we end the practice with one pranama practice. So we will practice Anlum Vilum, alternate nostril breathing. This is for your breath, to relax your breath. So you are going to take your right hand, right thumb and pinky finger out. You are going to rest your right thumb on the right nostril, sit long, breathe in through your left. Close your left nostril, breathe out through your right. Breathe in through your right. And breathe out through your left. Breathe in through your left. And breathe out through your right. Breathe in through your right. Breathe out through your left. One more time. Breathe in through your left. Breathe out through your right. Release your hands back on your legs. Keep sitting long. Shoulders relax. Let your eyes be closed for a few seconds. So you can take this time to reflect back on your practice. Observing how you're feeling now, how are you breathing now, in the same way how you started your practice today. And if you're ready to end your practice, rub your palms gently and feel the warmth of your palms gently on your eyes. On your arms, on your stomach, on your legs. Taking your hands at the heart center and with the feeling of a lot of gratitude, thanking your body for being with you throughout the practice. Let's close our practice with one cleansing breath. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Close your mouth, open your eyes. So we are done with the practice for today. I hope you will enjoy this yoga practice and to help you kick start your yoga journey. Most important thing is being consistent and disciplined in your practice and I am sure with regular practice you will see a difference in your body and mind. <laughs>